welcome back to guns.com. My name is Taylor and today we're going to talk about a gun that we have called the Limcat Razor Cat. What I'm going to do is this is a first impressions video. I'm more or less going to talk about what it looks like in person, what it feels like and how it shoots. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is just make sure that she is unloaded. So you can see that we have a clear weapon right here. Limcat, if you're not as familiar with it, very reputable gun company. John Limcat and his two sons make these. A lot of it is hand tooled. He uses some CMC machines. This one's a little bit older, so we've got a lot more hand tooling on it. You can even see that here on the barrel um, that you ha do have the tooling marks. The grips are really great. So these are SV grips. They're a little bit older, and the reason why they're super popular is that it's ambidextrous, so you could flip this safety around, and if you're a lefty, um, you could still use this gun without having to buy brand new grips. If you know anything about these, they're, they're not cheap at all. Also, I'll talk about the grip texture. So um, SV comes in several different aggressive levels. Um, this one is, is not at all. So you can see the way that I'm rubbing my fingers over it. Um, so it gives you a little bit of um, traction, if you will but it's not absolutely shredding your hands. You can see a little bit on my hands, the imprints, they go away pretty quickly. This one does have the Seymour sight on it. That's why it has this very interesting mount. This looks like it was actually uh, a mount made by Limcat, which is pretty cool. And basically what this is doing is when we are looking through the sight, it's, it's putting this lower, so it's much closer to the barrel. A lot of times when you shoot open guns, um, that red dot sort of flings all around and you're more or less point shooting um, because you should be that familiar with the gun, but this one stays pretty much on target. So 38 Super Comp is different than 38 Super, so be very careful if you're purchasing this gun that you are aware of what round it's coming in. 38 Super Comp is not as popular anymore. Uh, when this gun first came out, this was like the round to have. And the reason for that being is that uh, you're getting a lot of the gassiness and you're gonna be working, working that comp. And it also gives you more options if you're a reloader as to what kind of patterns you could use. So this comp is what keeps this gun nice and flat when you're shooting it. You can even see right here that we have these, uh, they call it the uh, whale blow holes in the top. So that is really pushing that gas up so that we are keeping that gun down. This has got a very light trigger on it. I would say it's probably about, it's under two, it's under two pounds. Um, it's probably about a pound and a half is the trigger weight on this. Let's talk a little bit about how this baby shoots. It's definitely pretty punchy, um, but I wouldn't say that it pushes back a hell of a lot. So I could really feel it in, in the hand when it's coming back, um, but we don't have a lot of muzzle rise on this. I think that the comp is working really well. Um, I have reloaded ammunition that we're using, so this is definitely a major power factor uh, to get the, you know, the gas going through that comp and to work it. Overall, I like it for an older open gun. This thing's pretty solid. Uh, so I would take a peek at it. I, there's no major scratches on it. I'm assuming that this was used in competition. Uh, maybe a little bit, but not a lot. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, please reach out. Go check out guns.com. We have this gun plus other used and new guns. My name is Taylor. Thank you for watching.